Hi guys, so it's time to trim my hair and I had a moment of weakness so I decided to just cut my bangs. But before we start, let me just state that I am not a hairdresser and I might not know what the heck I'm talking about, but this is how I do it and hopefully it inspires you guys. So the first thing is, I pull the front section of my hair to the front and I wet a comb with water and I just comb through. Now you can use a little spray bottle but I hate water hitting my face so I'm just doing it this way. Next, you'll want to use the end of a rat tail comb to carve out a triangle on your head. Now, if you want a more dolly look, I recommend starting really high up on the top of your crown. But it also depends on how much hair you are willing to sacrifice for bangs as well. How wide the triangle should be depends on your eyebrows. I like to hold my comb at the ends of my eyebrows and then I angle it towards the point at the top of my triangle. So that's just kind of like that invisible line that I use to guide myself. Now, once I have my hair all carved out, I use a clip to clip the rest of my hair back. Now I'm going to use the same guide on the other side of my head as well. Okay, so here's kind of like the weird part. If you want to swoop your hair to the left side, what you'll do is you cut it when it's on the right side. Now if you're swooping your hair to the right side, you'll want to cut it while it's on the left side. By the way, you guys, I have like this baby hair problem. I have no idea why I have so many of them, but let me tell you, those suckers are so hard to dye red. Alrighty, so like I mentioned before, I'm souping my hair to the left, so I'm going to hold it to the right side while I'm cutting. The next guide is the hollow of your cheeks. It's best to cut right there because you gotta remember that your hair will look shorter when it's dried. So using your shears, go ahead and cut a straight line and your finger is going to be your guide for this. So it looks a little bit funky right now, but when you swoop it over to the side that it was intended for, you'll notice that your hair is cut at an angle, and this enables you to swoop your hair over without too much bulk. Also, by using the hollow of your cheeks as a guide, your bangs will end up there so it doesn't look too choppy when it blends in with the rest of your hair. So then the last thing I like to do is section my bangs up, leaving the bottom portion and clipping up the top section. I'm using some thinning shears to feather out the bottom of the bangs. Now you can use a razor here, but I'm avoiding them because, well, I didn't like the damage. Now I keep lighting down smaller sections and feathering accordingly, making sure that I check the shape of my bangs. You don't want to alter the angle, but you just want it to not look so choppy at the bottom. Now this is only for me, but I have a ton of hair and that includes bangs, so I have to go in and thin them out. Now if you have thin bangs, you can definitely skip this step. So that's pretty much how I maintenance my bangs. Yeah, I gave in to them and I decided to cut them. But anyways, I will show you guys how I cut my layers next week. So good luck to all of you who are going to try this and remember, don't cut off too much. Bye!